है एवन आप सभी का स्वागत है इस न्यू वीडियो में सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम अनदर कोडिंग चैलेंज ओके एंड ये वाला जो क्वेश्चन है ये हम रिएक्ट में सॉल्व नहीं करेंगे बिकॉज आई वॉज आस्ट टू सॉल्व इट इन वनीला जी एस तो लेट्स क्विकली सी द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट बट फ्रेंड्स बिफोर मूविंग अहेड एक छोटी सी रिक्वेस्ट है आप इस वीडियो को पूरा एंड तक देखना ताकि यूट्यूब इसे अपने रिकमेंडेशन इंजन में पुश करे और ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा व्यूज़ आए ओके एंड सेकेंड थिंग यू कैन कनेक्ट टू मी at this particular url for any career guidance or any you know one to one call so friends i hope our uh, screen is visible so this was the question like uh, we have to create a progress bar aidha dhyan mat dena abhi ye hum karenge abhi aage ja ke code hi karna hai the description was like we have to create a progress bar like there should be a start button and there should be this progress bar and uh, we can use like any green color uh, it was not something like ki yahi color use karna aur yahi blue color use karna hai and also ki aisa bhi nahi tha ki same ui hona chahiye theek hai aap mera ui dekh sakte ho yahan pe kitna ganda lag raha hai uh, majorly functionality pe focus tha theek hai so functionality kya hai like when we are going to click on the start button the progress bar should start counting from 0 to 100% and it should be completed within 10 seconds okay and as the progress moves the value of percentage will also be updated cool and the value of the percentage should also be positioned at the right side of the colored part of the progress bar as shown in main so majorly the thing is that we have to simply create this progress bar which should start updating its value when we click the start button and we have to do this in vanilla javascript so let's start coding so friends we are going to code this in codepen.io okay and uh, while i was giving the interview the interview also like told me that i can use any online editor of my choice so we can also do the same so let's quickly write the html first let's give it the title and let's give it one heading let's have a div with a class of progress wrapper and inside this we are going to have another div with a class of progress bar now inside this we are going to have our progress and the progress label so now friends uh, this is the thing for the progress bar and now over here will come our button cool so we can see that our html is like almost complete we can give it a like starting value of let's say 0% over here and what else we can do is uh we can also do one thing let's have our label for this button start so yeah so this is how our html will look something like this now let's quickly write the css so friends i have added the body basically a background color of this to body and a color of white to h4 uh, the heading tag and as you can see in the image that i have not made the ui very good while i was giving the interview because you know i had only like 20 to 25 minutes to solve this particular question i know that's a very less amount of time at least 1 hour should be given to solve such question so yeah but for the sake of this video i am going to make this uh, ui quite good so let's have a look at it now what we are going to do we are going to add the styles for progress wrapper so friends as we can see what we have done is uh, this is our container and we have simply added display flex justify content space between a width of 300 pixel height of 30 pixel background color white and padding of 4 pixel Cool. We are going to add the class for basically CSS property for progress bar. So this is the CSS for progress bar, and inside our progress bar we have progress and we have the label. So what we have done is we have simply added a light gray color over here and a width of eighty percent. And friends, uh, you don't need to remember these uh, like hex code. Uh, it's only for the sake of the video. Over there you can simply write the 
like name of the color like red green yellow whatever color you feel like now quickly add the css for progress for the progress what we have done over here is we have given it the width of 0% height of 100% and background of uh, basically it's a green color and a position of relative now let's quickly add a class for uh, css for progress level so friends this is the uh, basically css for progress level uh, we have given the parent container position relative so i have added the position absolute to it and because we need to make it absolute so that you know it could uh, be like positioned over here with respect to this progress bar uh, basically progress and now we have given it like property like top right left and a padding and a color of white and friends to be frank very css itni achhi nahi hai so you can also like style it as per your you know need so let's quickly write the css for start button cool so this is the uh, css for start button like a background color of blue color of uh, white and border zero cursor pointer so that we have this cursor pointer now uh, we are good with the css and html now what we have to do is we have to add a javascript code so what we have to do is we have to think like how are you going to plan it like how are you going to write the logic so what we can do we have to take this start button and when we are going to click it we need to increase the width of this progress so for that we need to have access to these elements so like uh, let's quickly access these elements over here so we have done this pro we are like storing the value of this particular like element inside this progress and we have how we have got this using document dot query selector so similarly we can do this for other elements as well i am using class over here you can use the id as well to get your elements okay now quickly have a look at this function handle click so i am going to write down the logic first then we will be uh, like we will look at the explanation and one more thing like the interview also told me like if i don't remember this syntax of how to assign the style property i can google it also so yes you can either you can ask your interviewer or he will or she will tell you so we have assigned a value property 0 then we have this interval set interval that will do this particular operations after every 1 second and we have to complete our uh, this particular progress bar within 10 seconds that's why i'm updating this particular a uh, value with 10 so that after every second it will update it will be updated to 10 and after 10 second this value will be will become 100% okay uh, you can correct me if i am wrong somewhere okay do let me know in the comment section now what we can do is let's quickly add this so we can have this start button and uh, add event listener so friends uh, on start button click what we have done is we are simply clicking uh, basically calling our handler so let's have a look if this is working or not so let's click on start as as we can see after each second uh, it is getting incremented by 10 seconds like 70 80 90 and 100 cool okay but as you can see it's not stop uh, stopping anywhere uh, to fix this uh, in front of the interview what i did is i simply did something like if value is equal equals to 90 i simply did clear interval and friends this is not a scalable solution so it's your task to ping it in the comment section that what could be the more scalable solution so let's have a look if it is working or not so friends it didn't work because we have to write interval over here so let's have a look at this so yes friends what i was saying is that when we give the interview like we become little bit nervous or hamara dimag us waqt like you know it's not working at its peak so yeah that's why like sometimes we you know we are able to write the scalable solution and sometimes we are able to write only the hack portion only so yeah it started working 
and now there was one bug in this and that was like let's suppose if i start clicking on this like several times so as you can see this weird behavior so okay so there was one simple solution for this and that is I suggest you to pause this video and think of it okay so what we can do is we can simply make use of throttle function so i'm going to simply i'm not going to like uh make you understand the complete polyfill for throttle i'm simply going to copy paste it right now so friends this is the polyfill for throttle that you can write and what else you can do is like simply call it and now you are going to call this handle uh, pass this handle click over here and you are going to pass the delay to it and you are going to call the new function over here something like this and friends uh, we have to pass 10 seconds over here and not one second okay so so that uh, it will only start taking the clicks once this particular progress bar is complete now let's have a look at it now let's start clicking on it so friends as you can see i'm clicking on it but it's not uh, like you know uh, starting from again and again so yeah uh, now when we, when i'm going to click it after 10 seconds now it's going to take the click and now it's going to again perform the functionality so this was the js uh, for this particular progress bar so friends i hope that you have got to learn something new and if yes then don't forget to like share, and subscribe to this channel thank you for watching